I could offer my whole self. No, no secrets and all. Okay. Loyalty, faithfulness, okay. everything that could make him happy. You ever hear a Western woman talking about how she's going to make her man happy? No. You know what we hear from the West? What a man can do to make me happy. What a man can bring to the table for me. What I can benefit. How I could spend his money. We all know by this point that dating in the West for the average man is an infuriating and exhausting experience. Even though some men look max naturally to their max potential, face, gym, style and everything, and they also improve their status by making more money and things of the sort, they learn to game and approach methods but still with all of that combined, they don't reach the dating success they desire. So this usually leaves them with three viable options. The surgical way, which means plastic surgery to increase the attractiveness of the face, which will increase your dating success. The doom way, which means completely giving up and pulling out of the dating scene altogether. Or the third option, geomaxing, which we will discuss in today's video. This video will be split mainly into two parts. We'll explain what is geomaxing and how and why it will work. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look maxing advice, link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. First of all, let's get to understand what the term Geomax means. It basically means the act of traveling to a different country or area to improve your dating odds and quality of life. Originally referred to as C-Maxing, Geomaxing is a pseudo incelosferian term, which originated on incel forums as a solution for incels to escape inceldom. The concept of Geomaxing has started to gain popularity outside of the incelosphere and has developed its own subculture on the website geomax.me. Basically, in simple man's terms, it's moving abroad for hope of better and more numerous dating chances. People geomax for short term, some geomax for long term to get married and build a family. The intentions differ, depending on the person, but the goal is still the same. Okay, so now that we know what the term geomaxing means, we need to understand why it works and why it mostly works just for Caucasian or white guys, even if they are average. Before that, we need to understand what is an SMV. Sexual market value, abbreviation for SMV, is a manosphere concept that describes someone's levels of desirability in the dating market. In psychology, there is a similar concept known as mate value. And in evolutionary biology, mate value is sometimes used to represent potential reproductive success. In the field of sociology, there exists similar proposed Bordeauxian social capital such as erotic capital or sexual capital. SMV is often evaluated by the decile scale on a scale of 1 to 10. Among look series, such as proponents of the black pill, one SMV is generally argued to be primarily determined by physical attractiveness, though it is widely accepted that money, status, and social skills also play some role in determining a man's SMV. Red pillars generally place more evidence on wealth, status, and social skills, also called as game, as determinants of men's SMV. So an average looking white man who is 5 foot 9 will have a lower SMV than an average looking white man who is 6 foot 1 with higher status. Another thing that hugely influences SMV other than looks, body, weight and your status is your race. Yes, for fresh viewers, being of a certain race influences your SMV depending on where you live. For most cases, your race will stop mattering if you are highly attractive or if you are somewhat decent looking and mixed race. I go in depth into all of these topics in other videos on my channel. I recommend watching them to understand what I'm talking about. Another example is an average looking Indian man in his country. He will be considered average looking, but if you place him in the United States, his SMV will significantly drop below the average because the standards in the West are way higher. What women find attractive in beauty standards plus the culture is different, making dating harder. Now, why is geomaxing the most beneficial for white guys? Because among all the races for women being Caucasian is the most desirable to all of the other races. This has been proven through multiple studies and experiments I covered on my channel already. So being average in the United States means you are going to be above average or even more in SMV if you moved abroad. And boosting your other stats like status, looks, body in general, look maxing will have more of an impact. This will give you numerous dating choices and even allow you to date attractive women of different ethnicities. Also, their moral value are different to those of Western women, which will also allow you to settle down, have kids with a traditional wife if you so wishes. Like I said, this strategy works best for white guys, because they are the most desired. I don't have enough knowledge about other ethnicities, but I'm sure attractive guys from different races can also succeed with this strategy. Geomaxing does come with downsides. You are going to have to be able to afford a comfortable life abroad. 
plus a flowing source of income. You are going to places you are not familiar with and they might be dangerous. Not speaking the local language. Not everyone speaks fluent English. And not every woman you meet will be interested in you. You will cross some gold diggers among other risks. In my opinion, running through your chances is still better than completely giving up. But again, to each his own. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That will be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.